Hello, this is JC from Real and Simulated Wars. I'm so happy to see you here, my friends. And I have the immense privilege of you joining me in this mission that I'm trying to uh, execute today. So we are departing from a carrier, we are in the Persian Gulf, and the general topic for today it is naval warfare in narrow seas. So as you know, this year's world is not the best naval simulation. I don't believe it is intended as that. We just happen to have a lot of naval assets like the F-18 and the F-14 and the Vigan and the A-Force, which is a free mod that is great. But, uh, you know, when it comes to the simulation of hardware and tactics, it falls really behind. But we have a friendly it Comcast can do three miles. for certain things, like the one we're going to do today. There is a, a shipping convoy. Uh, I believe that they are from Ukraine. And we want to make sure that they pass through the Persian Gulf. Because... It, Iranian Republican Guard, it is up to some shenanigans with their Silk War missiles there. All along the coast, they don't have as many missiles as they want to, but you know, they can really be a mess. And uh, well, we're here to shut down in case, shut down these uh, missiles in case they decide to launch them against uh, our shipping. So our fleet, it is a bit on the back and I'm going to be data using my data link with an A2, sorry, E2, and uh, that's going to be great because it's going to be providing some updates and let's just hope that it can provide some updating for the missiles being launched. Not too hopeful, but... Uh, we're going to be close. There's a friendly two ship bra two eight five sixty what, seven uh, angels seven and a friendly bra two six five seventy seven miles angels twelve. So that flight of Tomcats that the uh, my Rio is calling is uh, the first shift. They're already there on station. There are F-14s, and uh, we're going to go for an, an additional shift. And uh, there is no refueling available. I should have added into the mission. But uh, I guess we'll have to make do with this. So we're flying into the station to relieve these uh, two Tomcats, which will return to the carrier in a few minutes. So waypoint number one, gentlemen, is uh, the last known position of the of the convoy and uh, waypoint number two it is the general direction from where the silk warm missiles can be coming we don't have an exact location I'm just arming basically fencing in and uh, well I just wanted to take a look I, I added some weather I generally prefer to record my missions when the weather is you know better than this with blue skies and everything because the lighting is better from the cinematography point of view but uh, I have to tell you that when I added these gray skies and almost a storm coming up it, it just amazes me how great it looks and how much these uh, weather conditions add to the atmosphere of the mission. So kudos to DCS. Only thing that we would like to have it is a bit of uh, better clouds, but that's another discussion. So I'm aiming for waypoint number one, and I already mentioned the the thing about naval warfare in narrow seas which apparently is not a trivial thing and uh, blue water navies they do have to adapt their tactics and methods when they are 
in narrow seas and ah uh, well the Persian Gulf is certainly very narrow so this is one example where we have the Republican Guard using their uh, land-based uh, assets to really uh, impose a, a threat on the, our shipping lines. So I'm gonna be using for this mission I'm gonna be using my Phoenixes. I just activated the camera and uh, what the tech hand is kind of active right now. I still am receiving it, but I will have to drop down to the level because you know the silkworm missiles are not exactly sea skimming but uh, they go very low so uh, better to catch them with the radar when you are actually low so just in a second I'm gonna pause the recording right now and uh, let's get back together when I am over the, the convoy so I'm close to the convoy right now, that's waypoint number one. And I'm gonna put my radar Target, 29 miles. within visual range. And I just switched it to PAL, Pilot Automatic Lock-On, which is a 15 nautical miles. And uh, for some reason, as you can see in the camera down there, uh, the radar is locking into the ship. I suppose that, uh, you know, being a big mass of Target, metal, 24 miles. it's acceptable to do that, but I don't want to have my radar distracted in that, but rather to be on the lookout for missiles. And uh, so far everything looks quiet. The RWR is fairly quiet right now which means that they didn't start their silkworm radars yet and I have that lock on which I don't want I'm switching against different types of there's a friendly tomcat 11 o'clock high six radar miles. modes like PLM BSL high and PAL PAL is my favorite right now because the range is 15 nautical miles and that's much better than 5 or 5 nautical miles which I believe is this the, the range for all the other ones so we're pointing towards that uh, I'm getting a glimpse there of the way forward I can see the ships the three ships from this Ukrainian convoy and uh, I'm gonna be flying towards them that's our station that's waypoint number one so I'm gonna leave you in peace while I fly this and I will eventually hop in to comment what is going on Target, three miles. So right now I just started 
like an orbit nearby waypoint number one the radar warning receiver is uh, silent right now and uh, my radar is locking into probably the e E2 early warning uh, aircraft that's a convoy down there and I'm just circling waiting for the Iranians to make their move Target, five miles. Uh -oh. yep, that's good at 11 o'clock. There you go. We have a mad spike, which means that the radars are active, so we get or get into. They don't need too much time to lock on into our ships. So probably a missile is flying already. It's very important for me now to put myself into the general direction from which I believe this is this one is coming for that I'm using waypoint number two as a guide as seen down there and I'm also I'm also using the radar warning Contact receiver three, three, four, four, two, so the radar is an ACM main mode 
I'm in the PAL sub mode. Oh, I see some smoke there. So the missiles. Oh, is that the trail? Well, something is coming that way. I am not supposed to engage the battery that is launching this. I am not, uh, you know, set up for a ground attack mission. So Get this ready. missile, twelve o'clock. Excruciating. Oh, uh, oh, there we go. We have a lock. Confirmed missile, use in the camera. Launch. We have a second one over there. Confirmed with the camera. Beautiful second launch. Continue searching. Splash. Splash one. That's number two over there. I already have a missile on it. I have a third coming up. Launch. That's beautiful. Of course you did. We destroyed it. So now the danger is had any of their silkworm missiles pass it through and uh, well I don't know about that I'm gonna just turn around and go back to towards waypoint number one to see if I can detect or catch any silkworm missiles on their tails There is no air defenses from the Iranians. So where's my convoy? Where's my convoy? Is that target? There? 13 miles. Oh yeah, that's the convoy. Okay. So I, I have to put my nose down and I keep locking into my ships. Not a good thing. But apparently nothing passes. I cannot believe they launched just three missiles. I mean, uh, as you know, <laughs> during the Iran-Iraq war, this thing already Target happened. Nine miles. And, but, uh, you know, the Iranians just launched like one missile per day. It was like, you know, more like a... Here we go. Missile, missile, missile. 12 o'clock. Where's, where's this? Where's sure. this? 2 o'clock. Damn it. I lost the lock. Where's the missile? Oh, Jesus Christ. I missed that one. My truck ER is failing to when it rains it pours. Where's that Misa? Ah oh, god. That pop probably I'm sure that went through. I was telling you that, you know, during the Iran-Iraq war, Iran launched sealed one missiles against uh, Ira Iraqi ships, but it was like a one missile per day, more like a statement of, oh, we're here. So anyway, let's see what happened there. Oh, oh, that is smoke billow. That's one of our ships. That missile certainly passed through. We still have two Target, ships alive. Oh, so sorry, it's burning. Well, as as you can see, I have a, a wingman, but... Uh, 
I mean, I cannot make anything out of them, and these type of complex things, I better than I didn't even bother trying. So I'm happy that at least he didn't, you know, Target, ditch four miles. his plane in the Gulf here. But then, okay. So I suppose that everything is quiet right now. Still have that radar painting us. But apparently no missiles are coming in. Nah man, I lost the luck. Don't worry, you Sir, just two o'clock. What? Is that an old call or it's a new one? go back let's put ourselves pointing in the general di direction of the threat and let's hunt for new missiles So the important part. Okay, there's dirt at eight o'clock. New dirt. Is that new or old, dude? Important part is not to lose orientation. That's very, very Target important. Fifteen miles. What did I lock in? I lost lock. Okay, so let's search. Apparently that's an old one. The Iranians forgot to turn off the radar. Or they are reloading. But reloading a silk worm is not a trivial thing. You have to... Unless you have a launcher. Now there's dirt at 2 o'clock. Okay, this, is, this one is definitely new. So there we go again. I have three phoenixes. Yeah, that's definitely new according to the RWR. Come on, come on. Let's do this. Missile, missile, 12 o'clock. Hot, break right. Come on, give me, give me a lock. Give me a lock. There it is. Confirm. Missile, 12 o'clock. Hot, break right. Oh, look at that phoenix going. Just going for it. I love this. 
Oh, splash! Have an additional one. That's that's our guy. That's our guy. Splash! Yes. Ah, uh, damn it! I lost luck. What else? What else do we have? Got some dirt. Four o'clock. I have just one phoenix. Missile, 6 o'clock, hot, bright oh. light! Oh shit, it's in our tail. Quick turn, quick turn. One shot, one opportunity. We're down to the last Phoenix. Come on. There it is, that son of a... Lock the damn lock. Oh, holy cow. Come on, come on, come on. I have dirt, five o'clock. I have to catch this guy, I have to catch it. Target, 21 miles. Give me a lock, give me a lock. Where is it? It's a ship. Oh Jesus Christ, this is gonna get very ugly. That's my missile. Come on. Target, three miles. There it goes. Missile, twelve o'clock. Break left. Fight's coming our way. Missile, twelve o'clock. <laughs> I just shot the sidewinder to it. I was stupid. I didn't even uncage it. Yes, sir. Oh, come on, I lost the lock. Missile didn't hit. Yes, sir. So we spent all our phoenixes. And, uh, well. Everything appears to be quiet. And, uh, yeah, we are RTB now. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, fellows. Additional information. I tried to do this mission with using the guns. Impossible. Unless you have, like, you know, a very fine uh, flight path. But um, the distance is so short that you have actually dirt, four little time to accomplish this. So I'm going to be RTB, not RTB, I'm, I'm back to CVN-73, our carrier, hopefully for a happy landing and happy recovery. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's what I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this mission. Uh, please. I am really grateful for you joining me. And uh, well, I hope that you are having a lot of fun. I'm eagerly waiting for the release of hey, I got some dirt at the, the new Syria map. That's going to be interesting. And uh, I will see you around. So thanks for watching and uh, keep flying, guys.